Hi guys, so in my last rerouting video, titled the most efficient <laughs> way to reroute a Cabbage Patch doll, Jungus. I realized that I forgot to include some very important information, Jungus. And so Jungus and I are going to um, give you that information in this video. So. Um, one of the pieces that I realized that I forgot to mention is how to, how to deal with the difficult areas to reroute. So, um, as an example, and I will talk about my ne new needle set in a few moments, but um, when you're rerouting the area at the nape of the neck, it's super awkward um, when you're trying to come out because, as you can see, like... You can't really see those holes when you look inside the head and so um, it's really difficult to get the needle in there so the tip to make that a little easier is um, is to drill your holes at an angle at the angle that your needle will be going in so um, imagine that um, well your needle is going to be going in at this angle right um, I don't know how many, I don't know, like 30 degrees or something. But anyways, um, yeah, like it's a really small angle. But anyway, another tip, another thing I usually do is I like push it in, but your, your house has to be relatively warm for you to be able to do that. Or you could be doing it outside on a summer day. Or you could have like a steamer on. It gets kind of annoying after a while, but then the steam can help with um you know mollifying the, the plastic but anyway um so do you see how it's going at an angle yeah i guess that's about 30 degrees then you want to um drill holes at that angle so essentially so the holes are are they they just go um straight but what you want to do is, Chung is you're not going anywhere. You want to drill at an angle. Ba -ba! So, I'm not going to hurt you. You just go like this. Okay? Baba! Okay, fine, 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 fine. I'll stop. Anyway, okay, okay. I don't have to drill anymore, baby. So anyway, um, drill those holes at an angle so that it helps... Um, facilitate. Sorry, baby. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, the rerouting process. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is, um, I um, discovered some new needles. So, mm, I used to be using the upholster needle, which is about twelve inches long, and but it was it was super thick, and. I noticed that I wasn't getting that like authentic look um, in terms of how the loops lined up. So then I did some mad re researching and this time I used the keyword beading needles because beading needles are typically very thin. So I found beading needles on Amazon. You can get them as a set. Um, you get like an entire set of these really robust beading needles in a variety of sizes. So, good boy. So this is the longest one. And if you compare it to the upholstery needle, it is significantly thinner, which means that you don't have to drill your holes as large. Um, often you won't even have to always drill the holes. Mm, I'm noticing that it is better, even though my needle um, fits easily inside the holes, the, the yarn's getting a little traumatized as it goes in and out because the holes are so tight. So for the sake of the yarn, it is a good idea to, ex um, to drill those holes a little wider. Um, but yeah, I, it's, it is already bent. You do have to be pretty careful. Yes, I know. You, 
you have to be pretty careful um, that you don't accidentally break it because um, these are susceptible. they'll easily break if you um, manipulate them too much. But I got this set. It was about thirty dollars. There's about three. I think there's three of these long nine inch. Sorry, nine inch. Nine inch is twelve centimeters. Nine inch beading needles and. The eye is absolutely wide enough. Um, for the yarn to fit through. Baba. Okay, you're not comfortable, are you? But you better not bark. Okay, so um, so I'm gonna show you um this I'm gonna show you this action, this needle in action. So, as always guys, I recommend that you play this video at twice the speed because I do speak very, very slowly. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna show you one of the other needles that comes in this set in action because I am working in this area. I actually don't need this as long as a needle. So here's another needle that comes in the set and um, it is, Seven inches? No, that can't be right. It's about five inches long and it's a little bit thicker. And it works um, quite nicely. So um, anyways, here's the head. Here's the yarn. And you do want to always pinch it at the end. If you struggle with threading a needle, you can get this product called Fray Stop. It's essentially just a glue, a, a very quick drying glue that's designed to stop fraying on fabric. And so you can chungiz! You can harden your tip so it goes in more easily. Anyway, but really, I mean, with a lot of practice, it's, it's, it's super easy to get it in. And, and also the needle kit comes with those threaders, those little threaders. I think I threw mine away because they always break so easily. So I don't have them to show you. Okay, so I'm gonna go in, but this is such an awkward angle that I'm actually gonna push the head. And so I'm doing everything to make this part as struggle-free as possible. So I've pushed it in which means that it's gonna be easier for me. Yeah, you see that right there? It's gonna be easier for me to access the holes. Also make sure you're doing this in the daytime because the, the sun filters through the holes and, and so it's much more obvious where you need to sew. So I am struggling here. <laughs> Found the hole, but ah, oh yeah. Okay, so there we go. I think pushing it in really helped. So that's probably the best way to go is to definitely drill your holes at an angle because that really helped. Um, and then as you're rerouting, push it. Um, push the vinyl in you will not be able to push uh, and my house is right now I think I have the temperature at 23 um, but it also helps that this is a KT doll and KT plastic is uh, softer than say P factory plastic P factory plastic is extremely difficult to work with and so um, is okay factory plastic so I don't know if it's even really worth it to work on those, but yeah, you won't be able to push it in at all. Maybe what you could do is just for this area, make the holes large and use an upholstery needle if you are doing a P factory or OK factory doll. Jesmars and tri triangles are an absolute pleasure to reroute because the plastic is so malleable. Um, it, it cooperates so well. Um, 
so yeah anyways those were things that i wanted to add to show you how to do because this area is really difficult and it can easily discourage new rerouters and i also wanted to share this fantastic find these um thin um beading needles so which um just give a really aesthetically pleasing look because if i pull back her hair look Um, you don't see large holes, so it's it'll be hard for the beholder to tell whether it's a reroute or not. Okay, I hope that helps mm, you reroute um, and have a your cabbage patch doll and have a wonderful day. Bye. Hold on. Ava says bye.